This came out of my head this... Uh, well, it's, it's been coming out of my head for like a few weeks. This is the temporary crown. And you can barely see it in the video. This is the temporary crown that I had after they replaced my other one because it broke. So just before the pandemic hit, I had a temporary crown put in. 30 days later, they were supposed to put in the permanent one. Then pandemic. It's 90 days later. And this, for, for one thing, it started popping out of my mouth. Which is not great. Not supposed to do that. So I called in, I was like, uh, what do? And they're like, well, get this dental cement from Walgreens and just glue it back in your head and it'll be fine. Totally. So I did. And it kept popping out. And I kept having to glue it back in. Until when? Uh, until Sunday. When, um... This did this. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Will the cement glue it back together? No, because the cement doesn't work because it's nice. it. It, it oh. barely keeps it in my mouth at all. Um, so it hurts a lot. Just so you know, I'm on a lot of pain. I'm not like prescription yeah. painkillers, but I'm on like I'm on aspirin, a lot of aspirin. Tylenol. That's Ooh, la, la. Um, I called in this weekend to talk to them. Apparently, uh, this is classified as dentures. Which, I'm no dentist. But it seems to me that a crown, in which yeah. there is still a tooth involved attached to my head. And like nerves, which are exposed. Because um, they filed away all the stuff that protects them. Yeah, is different than... A tooth which is not part of my head. Right. Um, so I, I had to kind of raise holy hell because I, I, I understand. I've been putting up with this for a month of gluing yeah, this like, thing back in my head. You yet. have done your due diligence to not be that guy. But it and bro this thing has lasted longer than it was supposed to. You have reached the end of your ability to do due diligence as a civilian. So I called in, I called in, I called in, and finally, come to find out, you know the permanent one they made that's supposed to be going there forever? It's been sitting on a shelf for months. <sighs> so you could have dealt with this before anything happened. All they need to do is glue the fucker in my head. In fact, they don't even have to take this one off anymore. No. I did it for them. They have to fill a thing with glue and go, that's it. Hey, maybe you can knock a grand off my bill because I did half your oh, job. No, because you had to call for advice about that. So that's going to add three grand to your bill. Yeah, fuckers. Because America. Because America, yeah. But fortunately, on Wednesday, I, I, I gave, I raised enough hell that on Wednesday, they're fine. We'll glue the thing in your head, you baby. Wednesday, 1 Sorry. p.m. I literally have exposed nerves in my food hole. <laughs> it sucks. And again, I understand the people whining of, I would, but cheeseburger. Not you. Not um, the same thing. Not the same thing. And on top of that, it's not like I need to sit in there for like three hours. I just need to right. go in, slap some, put some food la crazy glue on that food la but Don't put crazy glue on it, but shove the food la mouth and we're done. You could probably hold your breath for as long as the procedure is going to take. I could do it for them. I've been doing it for them. <laughs> That's, can I just come pick it up? Seriously, right? Can, just give me the thing. Give me the just glue. Me I'll the show. I'll, I'll do this night home. I'll do it to go. <laughs> like seriously. That's fine. I'll do a I curbs. Just, I will curbside. I just not be in the pain. I will curbside pick up my night tooth. Did you watch the Parks and Rec reunion special they did this week? I did not. I've heard about it. It was really, really good. Oh, good. One of I bring it up because one of the bits was Dr. Jam, the orthodontist, mm -hmm. did a little ad about how he's doing curbside service where you can pick up a bunch of orthodontic tools and then he has YouTube tutorials about how to do it. <laughs> And this isn't anywhere near that complicated. Uh, well, I'm glad they're going to see you. So there's, yeah, I just have one more day. I have to put up with the fact that, that this, I was, you know what I was eating when this broke in half? 
a reason, if I recall. No, no, no. When it broke in half this Sunday. Oh, no. Soup. I was eating food a lot. Soup. Did the heat crack it? I don't know. I was eating chicken and dumplings. Food a la. Soup. Campbell's food a la. Soup. Because they told me not to eat anything hot when I had my temps because it could crack the porcelain. And my trick when I had braces, because I had metal braces, every time they tighten them, I'd immediately go home and eat soup because it would expand the metal and I would this ain't pain. This ain't porcelain. This is like a cheap plastic crap they, they drop oh. in there to... Well, then I don't know. Yeah, they this just... Well, it, it, it done bust. Anyway. Well, now that's out of the way. Me and my, my teeth. I'm sure you all need to know about my teeth. It's time for the news. And I gotta tell you that I'm still I'm still going on about it. A little fringy stub in there driving me crazy. I, I mean, ju- that I'm sounds not, very painful. I put some of the actual dental cement crap I got. I just put a glob on top of the stump because I couldn't think of what else the f- I do. Yeah, just to seal the nerve. Well, it's not working very well because the stuff's no. crap. It's it's uh, temperin. I don't know what the f- it's called. If anyone ever tells you to do that, it's it's bad. It doesn't work. It's bull- it's it's a lie. It's a ten dollar lie. <laughs> Dental cement. It don't fucking work. All right, let's get the intro going because I'm sure you need to hear all about my teeth some more. Here we go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dinner audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And um, we, as as our, as is becoming the custom, have a mix of stuff this week. We have uh, the pandemic stupid and the a not buffet. pandemic stupid. Yeah, we have a buffet. <sighs> Great, now I'm thinking about the fucker. Great. It's one of those things. Like, if you don't don't think, don't think about an elephant. Yeah, if you if you aren't aware of your tongue, you're fine. But all of a sudden, everybody listening right now, think about your tongue in your mouth. I have to talk for the next half hour. You jerk. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you have eye floaters at all? Um, I do. Uh, sometimes, yes, I do. Because I have eye floaters all the time. Hmm. And the problem with that is sometimes when you close your eyes, you're not actually resting your eyes because, or at least me, because I end up compulsively following the floaters Mm -hmm. with my eye while my eyes are closed. So my eyes are closed, but not resting at all because I'm looking at the inside of my eyelid. The whole psycho. The whole channel hates me. I can't wait for this to go on YouTube. All right. Okay, let's start off with, you remember those, we've had stories before, people who will take money and throw it in the street. Once or twice before, we have had that. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's not how that works. Um, That's a very bad idea. You thought you were doing a good thing, but it was a bad thing. Well, now let's add a little pandemic spin to it. Oh, no, let's not. Let, let's do. Um... Surgical mask thrown onto southbound I-880 near Whipple tie up traffic. Hundreds. Like they were thrown, they didn't fall off a truck or something. Hundreds of surgical masks were apparently thrown from the back of a truck onto southbound lanes, caused a traffic jam Wednesday afternoon as some drivers stopped to gather the masks. Incident was first reported by California Highway Patrol, approximately 1.40 p.m. When authorities received call about a white truck stopped the freeway, a white or Hispanic male on the bed of the truck reportedly threw multiple boxes of masks onto the freeway into lanes of southbound 880. Masks were described as thin medical masks. There are approximately 1,000 ended up on the roadway. Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor. (laughs) We laugh so we don't cry. You know who could have used these? Doctors. Doctors. Nurses. Healthcare professionals. 
people that work at Walmart and are getting threatened with guns or legit shot because they asked you to wear one in the store. And, it, you know, a vital part of these masks is um, sterility. Yeah, it's kind of important. So throwing them on the fucking highway. Yeah, once they've been dragged through the roadkill, not as helpful. Yeah, the loot not as helpful. What the fuck would you fuck? I'm trying to find out why this happened. No, there's no reason why. No one has explained why this was done. Maybe FEMA was chasing them to seize them, because that's a thing that happens now. The only thing that could possibly maybe account for this, okay, maybe, is maybe this was like there's a crime they wanted to do, but they needed to get the cops distracted. So they got a bunch of surgical masks and threw them on the highway so the cops wouldn't be paying attention to the others. It's like maybe it's like, you know, a heist film kind of thing but going on. the thing on. is, if you have a thousand surgical masks, you don't need to do a heist. No, you don't. You're kind of rich right now. You can just sell them. That is the currency of the day. Yeah, welcome to, welcome to the dystopia. You don't need a heist at that point. You rule barter town. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ocean's what? Eleven Corona Edition. Man, what a sad ass movie that'd be. Everything is sad. We was this every this is all sad. This is this Instead is... of eating in every scene, Brad Pitt's gonna be wheezing in every scene. <laughs> but speaking of the face masks, it does it, it you know what? Maybe we shouldn't be wearing them face masks. Maybe we shouldn't. Don't do that. Don't do that. My Twitter, don't do that. Well, maybe we shouldn't be wearing the mask because, you know, we're, maybe we're just making God angry. State rep won't wear face masks because faces are, quote, likeness of God. Are you shitting me? Having already claimed face masks do not work, state rep Nino Vitale offered a new reason on Monday why he wouldn't wear a mask during the pandemic. Because faces are the, quote, likeness of God, Vitaly. Looking, okay. looking at this guy's picture, he clearly has no problem spray tanning the likeness of God. No, that's, yeah, I, I well, didn't you know, God, God's big on the spray tan. God's got a booth. God's got a reserved booth in Malibu. Got a booth. Um, Vitaly, a Republican from Urbana, has been uh, among the most outspoken critics against the health orders issued by Governor Mike DeWine and Ohio Department of Health Director Dr. Amy Acton. He has called their COVID-19 response unconstitutional in recent days to openly encourage Ohioans to ignore the shutdown orders. On Monday, Vital took to Facebook to share more thoughts. The greatest nation on earth founded on Judeo-Christian principles, not true, No, it wasn't. wrote on his official page, one of the principles we are all created in the image and likeness of God, that image is seen the most by our face, I will not wear a mask. You, you know the face of God is just a saying, right? Yeah. That's, that's not a real thing. I mean, created us in his image and all that. Yeah, that's... That, but, like, do you never wear sunglasses? I mean... Th th do that, you think people with shitty vision shouldn't wear glasses? I'm not even a believer. But I even I understand the created in his image right. meant free will and imbued with, with a soul and, and, and the, the divine spark not a nose not high cheekbones and even if you're taking it literally i'm pretty sure god would give you a pass if he was like hey why are you covering up the beautiful face i made you well you see god people are dying and i don't want to make other people sick if i don't know that i'm sick i'm trying to protect the rest of your people I feel like God will be like, good reason. Okay. 
It's th- this is the situation. If, now, if, uh, I hear that God sent the plague because of the homosexuals, so maybe not. Maybe he'd be like, no, you show your beautiful tan face and let everybody die because of the homosexuals. Like, I don't really think that's how it would go, mm-hmm. but Pat Robertson tells me how that's what, how it would go. Just for those of you outside of America who are wondering what the hell is going on, okay, yeah. we were given, op- the people of Ohio were given options of who they wanted to represent them. And they decided this was the best one. That's all you need to know. We're kind of doing guy. We're kind of doing the shit to ourselves. But never let it be said that the stupid is just an American thing because damn it UK, you're working on it too. Did you know how big KFC was in the UK? No. It's like, it's freaking ridiculous. Mainly because, K, to my understanding, drive through is not really a big thing in the it's UK. It's really not. It, I, I don't know about the UK, but at least in Ireland, it's not. Yeah, it, In England, when I was over there, most everything, it's takeaway, it's carry yeah. out. Drive, well, they don't have a lot of space for things. KFC has been one of the chains that has actually pushed drive through to a big degree. So KFC became huge in the UK. Well, people are taking it a little too fucking far. Oh no. KFC reopens for delivery in Broadstairs, sparking huge queues and police response. Huge queues formed outside KFC queues. For those of you who don't understand, that's a line. Um, after the Broadstairs outlet reopened for delivery, hungry motorists wanting their fast food chicken flocked to the Westward Road restaurant's drive through early Wednesday yesterday evening. Um, but it was a wasted trip as the outlet is not open to the public and is only open to cater deliveries. The disruption, which left shoppers trying to get them there by Asda stuck in the traffic jam, Sparked a police call out as officers tried to ease the congestion. So what happened was people got the impression that they were reopening and they all lined up for their fucking McDouble. What what is it? What is it now? The double the, down. The, the double down Baja Blast Dorito chicken. What is they, What the fuck are they doing now? Yeah, KFC isn't even that good. Frozen gravy on a stick. What are they doing? Um, like I used to eat there occasionally because they have Pepsi and their chocolate chip cookies are really good. So I'd get like the grilled chicken plate. But like it's not good food. It is technically food. I all right. Basically, pretty much, I have been in fast food lines before that have moved super slow. Like yeah. I've gone to a Wendy's before. We have a particular Wendy's around here that's just stupid slow. Mm. I was very generous once. I gave them 10 minutes sitting in the fucking lot without it moving. Nothing moved. We're just stuck there. 10 minutes. Everybody's nothing's moving. And you know what I did? I drove away and I went and I ate something else. You can do that. Have you ever been in a Panera drive through? I have not. I don't even know why Panera has a drive through option because you are never there for less than 15 minutes. <laughs> because Panera is not really fast food, but they have drive throughs for some reason. And the only time I'll use the drive through is if like I just want a scone or something. And every time I forget and every time I regret it because I'm like, I don't even know why they do this. I've been here for 15 minutes. I could have just gone in and gotten my damn scone. But then you're trapped in the little lane. You're committed. I'll be perfectly honest. I don't even know what Panera is. It's a, is it a bread thing? Really? Maybe. Yeah, really. It, in in Missouri, it's St. Louis Bread Company. Yeah. Well, in St. Louis, it is. Um, it's like soup, salad, sandwiches, pastries. Okay. Uh, okay. They have like the broccoli cheddar soup is like the thing. I ain't waiting fifteen minutes for no soup. That's the pumpkin spice latte of their menu. It's the white girl's delight. I ain't, I ain't waiting fifteen minutes for no soup. I got That's Campbell's. That's what I'm saying. Like you should I, just go in. I no, oh. I don't. I ain't going in. I'm just. I'll go home. I open a can. There's soup. I can go to soup. Um. 
But yeah, just the, the whole idea of you're you're causing a traffic jam for fucking KFC. Look, KFC's yeah. good every now and again. Yeah. I'm not judging you for eating it. <laughs> I, I am not wait like an hour for it. I ain't yeah, serious. I ain't starting no fucking traffic jam. No. Just no, all that. I love how everybody's piled out there just on the, the vain hope that they <laughs> can get drive through chicken. So fun story. The kids don't know. It was it used to be you used to fully call it Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mm-hmm. 20 years ago, they started going by KFC. And the reason for that, I've heard one, that the connotation of fried became negative. So Mm -hmm. they did away, they didn't want people saying that. And I've heard the state of Kentucky trademark their name. So they didn't want to pay the state of Kentucky. I don't know which one is true. I've heard both. My family called it KFC long before that because my sister, before she could, I guess, you know, when you're a little kid, you pronounce stuff kind of fucked up. Like you say, Buschetti. Uh-huh. My sister used to call it Kentucky fucking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so in my house, it was KFC long before the corporate changed anything. Uh, <laughs> oh, before we, okay. Before we, uh, we jump away from the, uh, the news of, of the pandemic. Uh, one final thing, just a quick one from the New York Post. Um, a reminder that you need to to ch- to do a grammar check on your headlines. Um, because, uh, just saying. Um, damn, Cena, that's cold. Oh, no. That's cold, Cena. Oh, shit. Wish oh damn! I wish for that. <laughs> <laughs> like I know shit's pretty dark right now. <laughs> but damn, kid! <laughs> God, fuck it, just give me cancer. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking Wednesday, Adam? I was like, you know what I wish for? Cancer. So, uh, moving on, uh, one of the things about visiting people in jail, either in person or virtually, or especially on the phone or any telecommunications is they monitor your communication. Yeah. I mean, from TV, I've never visited anyone in jail, but from what I hear, we, this is common knowledge that I'll probably find out when he finally starts blowing people away on the roof. What happened? Just bleep that part. I don't want it. I don't want it entered as evidence. <laughs> anyway, it's it's common knowledge that uh, the the this this is it it, it you know it, they they monitor this. They're legally allowed to monitor that stuff. Yeah, they read all your mail too. Apparently, someone didn't get the fucking memo. Woman busted for explicit jail virtual visit. Floridian, 32, engaged in lewd acts in front of young boy. Florida woman is facing felony charges after a video call with her prison boyfriend turned very raunchy, prompting a criminal probe helmed by an investigator identified in court records as, quote, Detective... Asman. Isn't that a Homestar Runner character? <laughs> <laughs> According to a probable cause affidavit, Noel Rascati, 32, engaged in a late March virtual visit with Tathan Fields, a 26-year-old locked up in the Santa Rosa County Jail. The duo's video encounter allegedly became extremely sexual. During a law enforcement review of Fields' jailhouse calls, an investigator came across the March 25th video uh, call between the the inmate and Riscotti. Court filings do not reveal what prompted the review, which was conducted by Detective Asman. (laughs) I'm sorry, really? (laughs) Fields is serving a 15-year sentence on burglary and grand theft charges while incarcerated 
He has been charged with masturbating during a prison class taught by a female instructor and mailing a hoax weapon of mass destruction. The latter matter, Fields is accused of mailing a letter purporting to contain anthrax to the Santa Rosa prosecutor's office. So this guy is just a gem of a person. Yeah. Um, as detailed by investigators, Rascati's virtual visit with Fields came a day before the convict celebrated his 26th birthday. In the video, Fields is wearing an orange jumpsuit and sitting in what appears to be a jail pod. Rascati, pictured above, was dressed in a pink bathrobe perched on a bed. Rascati, however, was not alone in a bedroom. She has just adjusted her camera at the call's outset. A young boy could be seen standing next to the bed. The child remained in the bedroom during the duration of the 12 minute, 28 second video. Uh, the appears the boy is her son. After initially speaking in a sexual ma manner to each other, Prescott and Fields began masturbating while watching each other. So you're just... Yeah. Is seen retrieving a pink sex toy from a closet. She then uses the device. So you're just breaking out the vibrator and going to town. And yep, shit. yep, yep. Like I think, as a society, we're we're too puritanical, and we should be more open with our children about sex because but, we fuck them up. But that doesn't mean nope. You should just double click your mouse with your kid in the room. Yep. And again. They watch these. They can. They are legally allowed. There is no privacy. There's no expectation of privacy in jail. Honestly, that's None. probably half the kink. <sighs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> if you're willing to masturbate in front of your kid, the guards watching is not an impediment to you. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Well, we have a classic next. Um, I say classic because this keeps happening so much. It needs its own category. I This needs to become like its own law enforcement category, no less. Um, really, it, it, this, this is someone needs to break this down because this is a thing now. And there's also a heaping helping of bless his heart involved. Um, Five-year-old boy pulled over after trying to drive to California to buy a sports car. <laughs> Honey, they're not going to sell to you. What was believed... You don't even have credit. ...was believed to be an impaired driver on I-15 Monday afternoon turned out to be a child trying to make his way to California to buy a Lamborghini. <laughs> Highway Patrol, Utah Highway Patrol officer uh, was looking to pull over a speeding vehicle on the freeway. Happened to notice another vehicle struggling to maintain the I-15 lanes. The vehicle was also traveling a little over 30 miles per hour. When they found the vehicle, they thought, oh yeah, this might be an impaired person. And when the car pulled over, it seemed even more like this person might not know what they're doing. Uh, added that luck, that the trooper spotted the vehicle before anything worse happened. The trooper pulled over the vehicle. When Trooper got out to speak with the driver, he discovered a boy whose head barely reached the headrest behind the wheel. <laughs> he sat in the front edge of the seat so that he could reach the brake pedal to keep the car stopped while I was standing there. So he's essentially standing up in the car. Because um, he doesn't know how to put it in park. I helped him get the car into park, shut the vehicle down. Troopers got all the boy's family concerned. The highway troll, the boy was five. Authorities learned that both parents are at work and a sibling was supposed to watch the boy. Somebody's grounded as fuck. Family members told Trooper the boy had gotten upset with his mother at some point earlier when she wouldn't buy him a Lamborghini. As all five-year-olds do. Boy's parents told investigator the boy had never driven before. They never had any issues. However, it's believed the boy grabbed the keys from a hook on the home started the car and made it from his home to the I-15 South uh, ramp on 21st Street. Um, dashboard camera footage shows the moment troopers located the vehicle. The boy immediately pulled over near the concrete median. Um, some of the conversation is inaudible. The boy later told Morgan the car belongs to his mother and he got it from his home. In recalling the incident reporters, Morgan said the boy was upset and almost on the verge of tears. 
He said the troopers was trying to get his sister to get to his sister's home in California, and he wanted to buy a Lamborghini. Authorities wrote the boy had three dollars in his wallet. That Hi. was might have been short on the purchase amount of a car that typically costs at least two hundred thousand. I'm just saying that older sibling, that older sibling, like so, don't even worry about when quarantine's oh, over because you're, you're in quarantine until you're 50. Right. You're grounded forever. Oh, and my Tivo's like, I'm going to R U N N O F T. Deep cut. I appreciate it. That's a good one. That's a good one. You're not, oh brother, oh brother, where art thou? I just saw Dune last week. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, brother, where art thou? This isn't even like a sci-fi <laughs> fantasy geeky thing. I'm, I'm aware of the movie. If this is, I a, didn't see it. This is like fucking mainstream cinema here. I don't know if I call the Coen Brothers mainstream cinema. They're a niche. They're a good niche, but they're a niche. <laughs> they bring down like several billion bucks. They're fucking mainstream. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm still always impressed that these kids can even navigate a car. Because when I was five... I know, right? Like, I was a pretty smart kid, and I was tall for my age, but... <laughs> no, when I was five, I was having issues with safety scissors, for fuck's sake. I was not getting the family car. No. We had a Woody back then we had the classic wood grain side panel uh, station wagon it was green Ooh. yeah we 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 moved up though a couple of years later we got we got one that was sky blue but it didn't have the the wood grain on the side so we got fancy we got fancy. My, da my dad firmly believed that if you weren't driving a car approximately the size and weight of a tank, you were not safe. So my family drove a lot of Oldsmobiles and Buicks. Oh, our last one tonight. The sheer audacity of this motherfucker. Wow. Um, okay, shelter in place. Good instinct. Bad locale. Orange County, Florida. Man caught campy on Disney Discover Island. Wow. Man is facing trespassing charges after security found him camping on Walt Disney World's Discovery Island. Look at this fucker. Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah, yep. so. And? What? So what? So this is America. Orange County deputy searched for McGuire on foot, by helicopter, and by boat. Before finally, finally making contact with him, when deputies told McGuire he had been they had been using a loudspeaker to address him, he said he didn't hear them because he was sleeping inside one of the buildings of the island, which he referred to as "quote a tropical paradise." No, but when deputies told McGuire, uh, according to the arrest report, McGuire told deputies he was not aware the property was off limits. They've been camping there since Monday or Tuesday and planned to stay for about a week. Discovery really? Island which was a zoological attraction before Disney's Animal Kingdom opened, has been closed since 1999. You didn't, you didn't notice that the park was closed and that nobody was there? Sir, and... park's closed. Moose should have told you. <laughs> like, John Candy didn't, didn't <laughs> let you know? You didn't know? You didn't notice anything uh, weird going on in the world? Like, I know it's fucking Florida, so weird is subjective. But, like, you didn't notice how not crowded it was? <laughs> oh, how, how, I don't know if I believe your story, sir. I, I'm not. Yeah, especially that with that mugshot. Yeah. He's trying that, that slow smolder going on there. <laughs> That's the island I think they were thinking about when Lost was huge, turning into a Lost Island, and I really wanted them to, and they did. Uh, buddy, come on, brother. Brother. 
Really? Even, even if it wasn't closed, do you think they're just going to let you camp there? Right. It's not like, why? why? Like, not... They literally have a separate resort where they charge you a lot of money dollars a night to camp. Did they you charge know, you money for that. Did you know I was I read how Disney has their own financing, which is very generous on the no interest because they really want to be able to get money out of you. Yeah. Like nobody you you pay money, a lot of money to camp at Disney. You ain't getting shit for free from the mouse. Especially on the one they fucked off and abandoned. <laughs> and the one that's been closed for 20 years. I can only imagine that's sort of like it's kind of like Chernobyl today, only without the radiation, but with a lot of uh, tchotchkes and and garbage. Can you even imagine how fucking creepy Walt Disney World is right now? Somebody needs no, to get in there and make a movie. Like, no, thank you, no, thank you. It's probably creepy as fuck. Do some gorilla style. Do do like do do like a found footage film. Didn't somebody do that a few years ago? They they like gorilla filmed a horror movie. Yeah, I got in a lot of trouble for it too. But hey, yeah, no one's gonna stop you now. There's no freaking cards. Apparently, you can just walk <laughs> the fuck in. Apparently, and it'll take them a week to fuck. <laughs> Oh um, yeah, it was uh, really small world after all. Apparently not lemon song because it took him a week, so it's not that small. Apparently, it's a pretty fucking big world. Oh god! Go oh, Florida. He looks like a cross between Eric Roberts and Christian Bale. Shit, you're right. Damn. Wow. That like a perfect hybrid. Nailed it, yeah. That's well. He's got maybe a little Rollins thrown in there, a little bit of Rollins. Yeah, little, little, bit. little, little, a touch, of, a hint of a pinch of Rollins. <laughs> a sousson. A sousson. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess the first thing we learned this week is when the park is closed, the fucking park is closed. Yeah, that means you too. That uh, you're I know not. You're special, and you're more important than everybody else. But it means you too. Good God, we have a lot of people who think they're very special right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've it's learned. My Twitter mentioned. We've learned you gotta what we we keep learning this. You gotta watch your kids. They will steal your car. They will. You're fucking I five bastards. I mean, I love those people who are like, oh, he's only five. What's he gonna do? He's gonna steal your car. Yeah. Yeah. It will fucking steal your fucking car. I mean, like, my sisters and I were really bad children. We never stole the car. Brave new world. Um, we've learned that uh, there is no privacy expectation in prison. No. I don't know who needs to hear that, but you probably should internalize it. Yeah. Keep that little chestnut for the rest of your life. There's no privacy expectation in prison. Um, There's we people whose job it is to shove their hand up your butt in prison, like... Good benefits. Um, <laughs> we've we've learned that uh, apparently KFC the, in England KFC can cause a fucking traffic jam. Yeah, and that's even when there's no actual KFC KFC on offer. I mean, English food is notoriously bland, so maybe it's those eleven herbs and spices. <laughs> <laughs> What is this oregano of which you speak? Um, we've learned that God hates masks, but he's cool with spray tans. Yeah. That's so, you know. Look at the chosen one. And finally, we've learned in our new hellscape that uh, surgical masks are the new throw money on the freeway. Yeah. Right. Really? Apocalypse looks a lot different than I expected. <laughs> oh no, you know, when I was a kid, we all watched the movies, we watched Mad Max, we watched uh, The Day After, and we all got scared shitless. And those of you who never, who weren't there for the 80s, 
Go look up the day after sometime. That'll fuck. Oh no, threads. Go look up threads. That'll really None fuck of with you. movies prepared us for how much sitting in our pajamas watching Netflix, the apocalypse nope. would entail. We just weren't ready. You know, at least Outbreak had monkeys. 